Hi everyone, I'm Donna Kohler. Thank you for coming to my first Treadles and Tea episode, an introduction to one of my nicknamed sewing machines. Now a sip of tea. Move the wooden bar that locks the machine in place. Yummy first bite. The button on the left operates the spring action. Mmm! Guess how many drawers and doors in this cabinet? You were right if you guessed nine doors. I love the sound of a treadle. Littler bites. To thread the machine, slip the spool on the spool pin across the thread through the thread guide between the discs, bring it up, bring it around that way, and then when you bring it back it will slip under the spring. And then here's a little hook, you just slip it under, then from the right you go towards the left through the take-up spring, then hold it right there, it should just slip right through that thread guide, and then hold it like this and it will slip through the left thread guide that's right above the needle. Now we want to make sure we clip the thread and this machine threads left to right. That would mean that the needle, the long groove of the needle must be on the left side. The flat side is on the right side, the flat side of the shank of the needle is on the right side. To insert the bobbin, pull out on the slide plate. It moves to the left. Hold your bobbin, your wound bobbin, with the thread coming around to the right. Drop it in. Now hold your finger on it so it won't uh, spin and then slip your thread through there's a little notch there, it just slips right through. Now you hold the top thread, bring the wheel forward towards you, and as you pull up, it should pull up the bottom thread. Uh, slide the slide plate close. The slide plate on this machine is often missing. Part of the reason is people can't figure out how to put them back in. If they come out, you do not put it in this way. To put this back in, I'm turning it over and you notice two grooves and here is a little spring that's attached with a screw. That, though, the ends of, these, of this metal spring actually will slide through there 
and you insert this from the right. So we're going to go insert from the right, gently push down as it goes over and it just snaps into place. We're going to sew. I have a double layer of fabric. Slip it under, lower the presser foot, and the wheel comes forward. Tiny bite left. To take out the bobbin, open up the slide plate. Notice a little round button here. You push down on this button and the bobbin pops up and then you pull it out. To tighten the bobbin tension on this machine, use a very small screwdriver. It slides into this little opening and put the tip into the screw and turn it left to loosen, right to tighten. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. The feet on this machine are back mounted. Loosen the screw in the back and it slips off and notice it has, it looks like a, a fork. It slips on, up, Okay, up and tighten the back and I'll show you another foot. See, it's like a fork rather than the side mounting, the side mounting uh, attachments of other machines. This is a side mounting attachment. You see the difference and this is a back mounting. This machine could be either, could come either side or back mounted. All of the attachments must be back mounted. This is a tucker. This is an adjustable hammer. This is a ruffler. Notice the fork at the back. The bobbin winder on this machine engages on the leather belt. This wheel as you push down on the whole bobbin winder, it engages on the wheel. No. All gone. Goodbye, until next time.